The days of visitation They all come. send you that in here. Mm -hmm. A day coming known as the day of the Lord. That's right. He's going to pay everybody in the world a visit. Oh, yeah. Everybody. everybody. Your mother, your father, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your second wife, your third husband. He don't care if you're a preacher. He's going to visit you. That's right. When he appear up in the heavens, that's his universal visit. That's right. Can you imagine the clamor, the hollering? When your feet not experiencing the ascending upward, yeah. the church will defy all laws of gravity. Uh -huh. And only them that are Bible right That's it. will ascend. Sure. If you're a preacher, you're going to stay right here. Oh, yeah. Waiting for the judgment of the Most High. That's right. And God help you if you stand before him in judgment. Oh, yes. Listen at this. The days of visitation are come. The day of visitation is coming. The day of recompense the are come. The day of recompense are come. Are come. Israel shall know it. Israel, God's people, That's right. shall know it. The prophet is a fool. Uh oh. Amen. Come on. Can't have, prop, can't have confidence in him no more. The prophet is a fool. I don't have confidence in no foolish prophet. No way. Touch and claiming and you can't lose with the stuff I use and all these gimmicks and you people that sitting under these preachers getting excited because they throwing you their jacket, their t-shirt, their drawers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Antics. When I was a child, uh, my mother and father grew up with a false prophet. They used to do that stuff. His name was Brother Billy. Mm. He's dead now in the Christless grave waiting for hell. Amen. He's been dead since 1974. Mm. And Brother Billy, when I say extreme antics, he would go as far as putting on women pantyhose in church. He would get right up and he's supposed to be an apostle. He was no more an apostle than a duck is a turkey. <laughs> That's right. And uh, he would get up right in church and tell the people, tell the women, the Lord spoke to me and said, if you want your healing, give me your pain. And the way you give me your pain, give me your stockings. And this is going on in church. Church was packed. Lord. The women would take off their stockings, their patty holes. Billy would put on women in the church stockings. Mm. He did it in the Lord's name. <laughs> Hiding the fact he was a cross dresser. My Lord, my Lord. I don't care how much healing my wife need. I ain't putting on her dress. No. I ain't putting on her stockings. That's right. I ain't doing that. Oh, no. no. If she need healing, I guess pray for her, but I ain't wearing your clothes. That's, That's right. right. Wrong time for that spirit. That's right. So Billy will put on the women's stockings and put on the women's pumps, their heels. Oh. And will shout around church. Oh, come on. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> you viewers that got these Sesame Street preachers. Amen. These Mickey Mouse preachers yes. throwing you shoes and coats and throwing Heisekens at the people. That's yeah. right. For what? For what? Come back to Bible. Yeah. That's right. Judge the conduct with the Bible. That's it. Bro, well, they touch Jesus' garment. He ain't take his clothes off for you. No, he didn't. <laughs> the prophet is a fool. What is it? The prophet is a fool. Dumb thing. Dumb thing. That's right. That's right. Dumb thing. I ain't throwing my shoes at nobody. Oh, no. no. Huh? No. Unless you get on my nerves, I'm going to try to aim at you. <laughs> Pastor Jennings, take his shoes off. And I remember somebody uh, got it once in a while. They'll post it. You know, social media will post a lot of lies. Like uh, me and my wife were sitting there and uh, watching a message on YouTube. And there's something that came up. She said, what is that? I put it on. Somebody just come up and just conjured a lie. As said, Pastor Jennings was preaching one day, they had a, record, a computerized voice going with the videos. Pastor Jennings was preaching one day, and one day his son came in and interrupted the service. And then Pastor Jennings stopped preaching. They get on his son, man, my, my Lord, and then my they Lord. put a picture of one of my sons up mm. on internet. 
You that put that lie up, my son, none of them. And they got better sense. <laughs> That's right. To come in church and, ch and go challenge me while I'm preaching. No way. No, I no. beat them so far down into dust <laughs> with the Bible. Nice. I take the Bible and beat them way back to Tampa. Right. That's right. If anything, they thank God for their they father. That's right. They don't get up and challenge their father. And I knew folks would comment because I can't stand me. And I just read the comment. Somebody said, see there? Truth always come out. Mm -hmm. And he always talk about Jake's. Yes, I talk about all these devils. <laughs> None of my sons ever jumped up in Never. church or in the house. No. Not even out in the grass. <laughs> Not in the parking lot. Right. You know why? They know better. That's right. They know better. That's right. They ain't got no make-believe father. No. They know there's a certain way you got to come to me. That's right. It is forbidden <laughs> by heaven. It's forbidden Amen. by heaven and earth. <laughs> That's right. They've come to me any other way. Any other. They know they can play around with me and have fun. They know that. Right. They, they know that. Right. So I never have to worry about my sons or daughters mm -hmm. acting crazy, going to jump up in my face. They know better. That's right. Hey Amen. They don't want to turn two years old again. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want that. They don't want to turn two or three years old again. That's right. Uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so you that posted that lie, if you want to leave it up, go ahead. Go ahead. I told my, my wife, said, how do people come up with this? I said, look, girl, don't worry about it. They're going to make something about you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You know, uh, this artificial intelligence is something yeah. because they can take somebody else's body and put your face on it. Oh, yeah. Sure they can. Oh, yeah. They can take your body and put some put your face on it. They, they may take a, a body of a red bone, put my wife face on it. Next thing you know, you see a video of her face, but somebody else's body holding champagne and in the that, club that's just right. gone. That's right. <laughs> They say, oh, Pastor Jenny's wife doing the boogaloo. The boogaloo. <laughs> Put my face on a man's body and have me right in back of his dance with my head locked. Oh, my take, a, take a shot with me doing like this. That's right. And artificial intelligence. And people would believe it. You, people would believe it. Yeah. You people can paint any picture about me all you want. I'm going to drive you with Bible. Oh, yes. I'm going to pound you with Bible. Right. I'm going to plague you with Bible. That's right. Glory to God. The, prophets, God, is the prophets is a fool. The spiritual man, the spiritual man is, is going mad. Is mad. Is mad. For the multitude of thine iniquity. The multitude of thine sins. And the great hatred. And the great what? Great hatred. Great Hatred. They you have know, deeply we, corrupted themselves. They did what? They have deeply corrupted themselves. That's the problem with the churches. That's right. They have deeply corrupted corrupted themselves. themselves. Money yeah. have corrupted the religion. That's right. That's I mean, right. if you want money, go get a job and go to work. That's right. That's what I encourage everybody to do. Work. Work. Nice. Work. That's work right. is not a sin. That's right. You young people that's afraid to work eight hours a day, work. That's right. They're working me too hard. Work! That's right. You've been praying for a job, now you got one, it calls for work. Oh, yeah. It ain't calls for sitting back looking. You may not have the job that you want, but if the Lord bless you with something, something is better than nothing. That's right. I'd rather have crumbs. From bread. Oh, yes. If I can't get the whole loaf. Oh, yes. I'd rather have some bread than not have no bread. That's right. What did he say, son? Hosea chapter 9 and verse 9. What is it? They have deeply corrupted themselves. They have deeply he corrupted themselves. As in the days of Gabeah. I think of when I was coming up. My mother, brothers, get this now. Listen, listen, good. Both of us can't talk. Hey, brother. Logan, listen now. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Get this now. They have, uh, Hosea chapter I 9 remember when I was 9. a child, my mother was the youngest one of a prayer band. Uh -huh. There was Methodist mothers, uh -huh. Baptist mothers, Pentecostal mothers, so-called apostolic, from different churches. I remember the old mother, Mother Snipes. I was only about four or five years old. My mother used to drag me to every prayer band. I used to wonder 
who is these women with all white? <laughs> but all the women was from different groups. And to see all those women call on heaven. Yeah. It's not like that today. Oh, no. People are ashamed to serve Jesus. That's right. I mean, swish up him in spirit and in truth. Many are ashamed. That's right. The women want to preach and they want the men to see what they made out of. Skin tight, pants, suits and all this. Walking across the pulpit. No shame. No shame. Not embarrassed. That's right. How they could come out in public showing their body parts. No shame. No shame. And you say you're Christians. Mm. And they cuss me out all over the internet. Your women in your church don't wear no makeup. They look sorry. They don't look sorry. They look holy and beautiful. Amen. Amen. Right. Bible tells me what the Lord has made. He made it good. Good. You need right. crayon box to be beautiful in God's eyes. Oh, oh. Look at your world. Look at you. You have rejected the counsel of God. That's right. Like they did in the days of John. They didn't want to be baptized with the baptism of John, which make them reject God's counsel. There is a conspiracy of a prophet. Do you hear this? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 22, There's verse 25. There's a conspiracy of a prophet. Of a prophet. In the midst thereof. In the midst thereof. Like a roaring lion. Like raven, a roaring lion. Ravening the prey. Ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure. Wait a minute. What Amen. the preachers do? They have taken the treasure. Amen. Now, viewers, if a preacher come to you mm -hmm. and tell you, look, I want you to give an X amount of money. And if you can't give it, you can't give it. That's right. You shouldn't have to be silenced or sat down in church because you can't give a certain amount of money. That's right. That's right. That's right. I look like silence to you or because you can't give us. I want, if you can't give, you can't give. That's can't right. Give. The best thing you can give is your life. That's right. You can give that to God. That's right. When I was in falsehood, this is the way the preacher would collect offering. Who would make all us men that was there stand up in front of the church with him. And then we all have to pull our money out. And here make each brother count out their amount of money. <laughs> you see how much they're going to give. You have to count out your money. And if a brother didn't have the amount that he felt as though he should have, he would embarrass him in front of the people. Mm. Not just allow him to freely give. You have to take your money out and count it. <laughs> and if you didn't have it, he will embarrass you. Lord. Even when we go to a false church and he was the guest preacher, mm. he'd make all the brothers come up. All right, let's see how much money we're going to give this preacher today. All of us had to stand up, go in our pocket. He had counted out because he wanted to leave an impression. Mm. That was the whole thing. Mm. Trying to impress the preacher that he's speaking for. Mm. You call me to come preach at your church. I come. You don't believe all what the Bible said? We won't give you a penny. Not That's a penny. Right. We won't give you any. That's right. Ah. I've right. been to false churches that called us because of our popularity. Yeah. And we filled the churches up in the sidewalk. And they had women preachers. That's right. We, would, we didn't get the seat warm a good five minutes. Clack off it. Yeah. That's right. One, one of our brothers stood up. I said, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he forgot just that quick. He stood up, went in his pocket. I said, ah. he said oh, <laughs> sit down. Wonderful. The Bible said if you build up again, the things you destroy, you, destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. How are you going to believe of the Bible and then go to a church and promote what they don't believe? That's right. Either you believe it or you don't. Or you don't. 
Are you getting what I'm talking? Oh, yeah. They have taken the treasure. They have taken the money. And precious things. And precious things. They have made her many widows. They have made him mi- what? Made them many widows? They have made her many widows. Made her many widows. In the midst thereof. In the midst thereof. You got these preachers that are prey upon the women. I mean, these are all things I experienced the seeing. Women just lost their husband and their widows, they're in grieving, they're in mourning. Right then, the preacher slide in. Slide. Mother Grethel, and you know, I know that you're hurting now. Then he become nosy. I'm pretty sure you got a will in Jesus' name. <laughs> pretty sure Brother Grethel or Deacon Grethel or Elder Grethel left you a will in Jesus' name because you can't forget the work of the Lord. Don't forget the work of the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget the work of the Lord. If anything, whether it's light, right then, he's preaching to you. Right then. Life or death. That's right. And while she's grieving, he she wants to believe anything that'll give her hope for some. Yeah. yeah. Sign everything over to him. Which devour widows' houses. St. Mark chapter 12, verse hear, 40. Hear this, viewers, because some of this is your pastor. That's right. And some of you women that are watching and that are here may have experienced this. St. Mark chapter 12 and at verse 40. Which devour widows' houses. You better get at verse 39. At verse 39. What is it? Or at verse 38. All right. And he said unto them. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 12 and we're at verse 38. You know, the Bible caps everything. Oh, yes. Uh And he said unto them in his doctrine. In his doctrine. Beware of the scribes. Beware. Thank God of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothing. They love to wear long clothing like you robe wearing preachers. (laughs) Thank your suit is too good to sweat it out. That's right. Amen. Your robe, many folks ask me, why you don't wear no robe? I don't want no robe. No. I wait, I wait till the Lord put me on all white. <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's what I'm waiting for. I don't preach in robes. That's right. I don't preach in no robes and don't want none and don't need none. Don't need none. Amen. I go somewhere and preach in a pair of jeans and a khaki shirt. Yeah. That's right. As long as I get you connected with God, I'm all right. That's right. All right. Beware of the scribes. Which- Beware. Of, of the scribes, scribes. Which love to go in long clothes. They love to go in long clothes. And love salutations in the marketplace. Yes. And the chief seats in the synagogue. Yes. And the uppermost rooms and feasts. You see, that's why when we have pulpit chairs, you don't see me sitting in the chair like other churches, like a throne. Like a throne. I don't believe in that foolishness. That's right. Thrones are for kings. Yeah. Preachers are supposed to be servants. That's right. Night. Servants of a king. Night. Yeah. Night. That's why I just have a regular chair. I'm all good. I found that chair at Home Goods. <laughs> it ain't cost me a whole lot. It ain't cost me a whole lot. I saw. I said, "Ooh, that make a good pool picture." <laughs> home Goods. You want to know where to shop? Go to Home Goods and go to Home Sense. <laughs> Don't worry about spending two and three thousand dollars for a painting. Go to Home Sense. Spend about sixty-nine dollars or fifty-nine. That's good enough. That's good enough. Spending all this money, some good. folks spend fifty thousand dollars for a painting I wouldn't spit on. It's true. Look just as ugly like he should be in a doghouse. <laughs> Come on, son. And the chief seats in the synagogue. Yes. And the uppermost rooms at feasts. Yes. Which devour widows' houses. They'll do it, too. Yes, they will. They will devour. Widows' houses. Widows' houses. And for a pretense. For make, pretending. Make, for faking. Make long prayers. Oh. Hmm. Do you get that, viewers? Yeah. That's right. You that are here for pretense. And for pretense, make long prayer. Hey, don't take off that. No. You don't need me to pray over you for one hour. No. Huh? No. Hey, man, if well. a woman has breast cancer, no need for me to lay hands on your breast and ask God heal you of the cancer. No. Hey, Amen. If you have cancer in your hip, no need for me to lay hand on your hip to rebuke the cancer. Rebuke the cancer. Hip rebuking. Not that. No. Amen. No. False prophet Billy in Illinois, if the men had a condition, he'll put his hands everywhere. Oh. And I do mean everywhere. My oh, Lord. Wow. These old no good things that people have for pastors mm. is a disgrace. Yeah. All right, son. And for pretense, make long for prayers. For pretense. Make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. You see that? Yeah. What I happened to you the, for pretending making long prayers? These shall receive greater damnation. Mm. Ministers, 
If you go to the hospital and there's a woman in there, if you got a wife, take her with you. If you don't have no wife, get some of the old mothers of the church. No young sister go with you. Right. Get a mother so old and make you cringe to lust at her. <laughs> at the very thought of doing something with her make you cringe. That way you can't approach it. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know if you thought that, you'll go to hell. Go to hell. The reason why it's good to take a mother with you or your wife, if there's a woman in the hospital, she may not be decent while she's in bed. That's right. And your wife or mother can go in the room before you do. Yeah. And get her decent. Help her out. Yeah. And then let you know when the coast is clear. That's right. Huh? That's right. Coming in, her gown hanging all on, her breasts hanging out, her legs hanging out. And you going in and trying to pray. <laughs> trying to pray. Huh? Pre <laughs> for pretense. Be doing what? And for a pretense. Make long prayers. She laying there, uh, uh, gown hanging down here, <laughs> legs hanging out. Down, he's down there, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Precious Father. Precious, <laughs> Precious Father. <laughs> he's, 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 putting, <laughs> he's putting, he's calling out every title that make that prayer long. That's right. Precious Father, <laughs> King of Kings, Lords of Lords, who only have the immortality in the world and give the light. That's the devil out of hell. And for pretense, make long prayers. If you got a wife, take her. Take her. Or take, if you're not married, take some of the old mothers in the church. That's right. No young women, some of the old mothers. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, Pastor Jenny, suppose there's no old mothers in the congregation. Then you take several young sisters and several brothers. Right. So those brothers can watch you, they can watch them. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. Give me Job 1515. 15. Yes. I've heard of cases where women got raped by the preacher who went and visited them in the hospital. Lord. Hmm. You're going to pray for a woman, she shouldn't have to ring the bell to call the nurse and the doctors. No. And they're yelling all over the the intercom in the hospital. Stat. Right. Stat. And he come catch you on top of some woman. My Lord. And she's unconscious. Mm. She unconscious and you got her pregnant while she's unconscious. My Lord. You ought to be thrown under the jail. That's After right. they put you in it, then put, find a place under it <laughs> and put you there. Right. Hear me good now. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. What is it? Behold, he putteth no trust. Listen at the Bible. Behold. Listen at the Bible. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. He put no trust in his saints. I want this to be good for all preachers no trust. that got a so-called hospital ministry. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Always, always hanging out where sick folk is. That's right. Amen. What? I've talked to preachers. Pastor Jennings, I've got a hospital ministry. All right. My Lord. There's some other preachers. They got a senior citizen ministry, they tell me. They just go to senior citizens' home. Wow. Talk to old women in, in, in the home. Mm. Talk to them about their belongings, their possessions, and drink tea and eat biscuits. <laughs> I want to say to you women that have been victimized. By these pulled pit Bible carrier Cadillac driving charlatans. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. You got to be lower than the devil himself, if possible. If possible. That you are rape a woman that's unconscious. That's, that's right. right. And she wake up pregnant. Mm. Gabriel ain't visiting her. No. She may not know how the baby got there. Mm. She know the spirit ain't brought it. No. Right, right. You've got to be lower than a dog to rape an unconscious Gosh, woman. My Lord. Mm. These are preachers. Yeah. Hear me, God. Preachers. Your pastor, your daddy. That's right. Amen. 